generally speaking, if the anterior accessory saphenous vein is, is severely insufficient and the intrafascial length of that vein is less than eight centimeters, I would prefer to use the laser because the, the length of the radio frequency heating element is seven centimeters. So I think you're cutting it pretty close at, at eight centimeters. So you want to leave at least a centimeter untreated in the anterior uh, accessory saphenous vein. So her vein length is 15 centimeters in the fascia, in the anterior accessory branch. You can see where I've marked it down here in the thigh. That is the, uh, the vein as it's exiting the fascia. So that's a nice segment. And then uh, in the great saphenous vein below the knee, uh, I guess the question sometimes comes up is where do you choose to, to, to make your entry point? Above the knee, just below the knee, or in the mid calf? And then what I'll do is I'll scan my patient to see where the, the last main side branch is coming off that, that great saphenous vein. And I'll try, to, I'll try to enter the vein just below that so that I can ablate that segment as well. And thus, uh, reduce the chance of, uh, of a perforator or some other collateral branch coming in and, um, and feeding the distal segment of that. So we'll be in the mid-calf here. I've marked it again after reinvestigating. I'm gonna numb up the skin here for the entry point, and this does hurt a little bit, ma'am. I'm sorry about that, Miss Anna. I'm gonna create a small skin wheel up top as well. And then the next step will be to uh, place the uh, gain access to the veins using the seven French micropuncture kit. Okay. So with the bevel facing up in your right hand, using your left hand as your ultrasound hand, I'll make sure I feel my wheel where I've numbed it up to make sure I'm not going into an area that's not been anesthetized. And I'll turn my attention towards the screen. And as, as I see the needle tip denting the anterior wall, I'll then just apply gentle pressure. And then pull the tip back. And then look at the hub. And, and what I'm observing, what you're observing here is just a, a gentle, slow drip of a drop of venous blood. Now this uh, wire should go up pretty smoothly. So you see me squeezing the leg. Without it squeezed, it bumped into a side branch. With it squeezed, I was able to negotiate that, that, that bit of a bend there. And since it 